Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Soul Tan and today I'm bringing you guys my growth portfolio once again. So it's been a while since I showed you guys my growth portfolio and the reason for this is simply because I don't add too much into this portfolio and I don't really monitor it as much. So this one I usually just leave on the side and I add a smaller amount in comparison to how much I add to my dividends portfolio. But anyway, a lot has changed since the last time I did show you guys my growth portfolio. But I mean, a lot has changed in the sense that the market was doing a mad one, like the market was was crazy. I can say that I was down for at least like two months, a month, I don't know, but I was down for a very, very, very long time. And last last night, so yesterday, my portfolio finally got into the greens again, just by a little bit. I mean, I'm gonna look at it now, I haven't looked at it already, but I'm gonna see if we're still in the greens and hopefully we are. Okay, so right off the bat, we can see that right now I am up by just three pounds. So can you imagine a whole growth stock being up by just three pounds? That's the madness, like, I was down for a very, very long time. So let's take a look. So we can see from Max, you know, this was when I first started. So this was in January, I did a bit of money. Everything was all going smooth for a very long time. And here was when the drop just started coming in and I dropped all the way to 869 pounds, right? From 1.1, that, that, <laughs> that has a lot of money. For 1,000, you know, 100 pounds portfolio. But anyway, it took a while. But you know, I started going up slowly, and I went back down again, and I went back up slowly. And yesterday, I finally got into the greens once again. Okay, look. So you're probably wondering what is responsible for this because I don't even have that many stocks in the first place. So this is literally due to two companies, Tesla and neo yes look at look at neo right guys look at neo neo is just absolutely shocking and hurting me at this moment in time right so look most of you know not most but some things are green right so you can see most are green so this is literally all i have right and we have most on green but we have three on red so these were literally responsible so when we take a look at neo right off the bat we can just see a month you know just throughout this month it's just been going down, it's just tanked, you know, just absolutely tanked. And I think I bought Neo around the 50, 50, 52, something like that, you know, when the hype was there. But I only said I bought it for the hype. I bought it because, you know, I thought Neo is still kind of cheap. It's only $50, do you get what I mean, for one stock. Like, that's a minor, it's all right. And, you know, I did actually like what the, you know, business module is about and I like everything about it. Like, Neo is still a calm stock, but there's one thing I learned, one thing I learned and one thing I'm probably going to change, but I'll, I'll dive into that shortly but currently what we can see is that i have tesla fiverr apple paypal shopify neo square c gregs and sage i don't know what sage is personally and i'm up by 12 12 percent so the reason i have sage is because i actually got a free share so this was the free share i got it was five dollars when i received it i haven't sold it just because i don't really go on this you know i don't really check this too much this portfolio but i do have sage whatever company that is i mean when we look at it it's all right it's an accounting software company you know it went up and yeah it's just tanked after that and it's going back up again i'm probably gonna sell this sell this and put this into another company that's probably the plan of course i have greg's um you guys know why i have greg's because you know that's where i work and stuff which is you know all fun and good um, Square is good, Shopify is down, Neo's down, PayPal is really good, Apple, Apple just went up, it's only one, up by 1%. The interesting thing about Apple is that it's a weird one. Of course I have Apple because I have every single Apple product, I love Apple, the phones, laptop, everything. I literally own almost their whole lineup, right? But the thing about the company or the share is that it's just not doing the madness. Like It's a growth portfolio, it's a growth stock. And it's not doing too well. Like it's not really doing the mad. I mean, it says it was up by nine percent, but when we take a look at you know what's been going on for me, it's not really up by much. I'm only up by one point three one percent. Maybe it's just since I bought it. I mean, I bought it in January, so maybe fair enough. Maybe I need to hold it for a bit longer to see the growth. But the company that I'm really looking forward to, that I really you know I'm really really interested in right now, is Fiverr. Fiverr is one that I really believe has a lot of potential. Fiverr has a lot of potential. The business module, everything is just currently growing and growing and growing. I mean, yes, there is a little, you know, hiccup right here, but I still believe in the long run. So if we give it three, four, five years, Fiverr is bound to at least, you know, get to at least 500 in my opinion. 
five was bound to get to 500 that's my opinion that's my speculation we will just have to see what happens so yesterday i actually bought 40 pounds worth of five hours so you know i put a lot of money into it. i just put all the money into it because yeah five is one that i really want to get up to a share at least paypal is also another one paypal are working on a few things they're trying to you know get up into a couple of investments they're trying to actually expand and everything like that so paypal is also another promising one i mean we'll have to see so far if we look at the whole year you know paypal's up by 100 and 50%. Every company kind of tanked from April, didn't it? I feel like most growth stock companies tanked from April for one silly reason. To be fair, I'm not even too sure, but one thing I do know is that when Tesla did that dumb mistake that they made, I mean, it hasn't changed, but when Tesla decided to stop selling some modules of the cars that they have, it just seemed like the whole stock market, the whole growth stocks and everything just tanked from that day. That's when I noticed everything was just going downhill anyway. I remember when that happened, I was down by like 300, 200 pounds, something insane like that. And I was just like, bro, it's kind of crazy. So right now I am still down on Tesla. Um, I'm down by 0.07%. So it's slowly been going up. And the interesting thing is I bought Tesla when it was quite low. Like Tesla was quite low with I bought it. It wasn't expensive. I bought a whole share right off the bat. It was actually quite cheap, but if I waited like another month or so, I could have bought it insanely cheap. I remember Tesla was down as, look, look at this guys, look at this man. I could have bought Tesla at this point. Literally, this was less than a month ago, right? But I think I bought it around here maybe. So yeah, I mean, anyway, it's all right. It's Tesla, I still have faith in Tesla. Tesla is just, an, you know, it's still Tesla at the end of the day. So look, these are the plans I have. So right now I have, you know, these companies but the plan is I'm trying to reduce the number. So this is my growth portfolio. So I'm kind of more flexible in terms of this and I don't really mind, but I'm trying to reduce the number of companies I have. And I need you guys to give me some suggestions or what you think anyway. So I'm trying to reduce this. I'm trying to get rid of some stocks and one that was already, you know, looking at me, one that I already know I'm probably gonna sell is Nia. Right, listen, listen, listen. The reason I wanna sell Nia right now, I'm down by, you know, 29%. I can either cut my losses and just call it a day or I could wait then eventually sell. I'm not too sure yet. But the reason I want to sell NEO is that one thing I just noticed is that NEO is similar to Tesla. NEO is meant to be the new Tesla, you know, with the new um, business idea and, you know, the batteries and stuff, which is fine, which is all fun and good. It's all right. I don't mind, right? But the thing is, one thing I learned is that why go for the new Tesla when you could just stick with the old one that's already in you know its own league and everything like that that's just absolutely blowing and it's just going on and on and on literally you know i could just do that instead just stick with the old and original tesla the, the one that's already proven to do wonders and just stick with that one and forget the new one right because the new one is just a lot more volatile and it's just crazy so yeah there's pretty much two ways i can go about it i can either sell now and put you know all the money the 70 pounds into something that'll probably earn me a lot more or I wait for a bit, hopefully it goes up, then sell at that point, then put that into something else. I'm still going to hold Tesla, 100%, going to hold Fiverr, going to hold Apple just because I just like, you know, having a company that I can relate to, you know, that actually have all their products and stuff, just for the fun of it. And Apple is still, Apple is still an all right stock anyway. And Shopify is also another one. So, the, literally, the Shopify, Amazon, Apple... I mean, Tesla and Neo is kind of like a similar thing. It's almost like why get into Shopify when you can really just, you know, I've stuck to Amazon, let's say, like a couple of years ago and just follow the trend, right? Because Amazon is still doing well. So that's kind of the similar thing. So that's the reason I'm probably going to get rid of Neo and just stick with Tesla and just put more money into Tesla anyway. Shopify is a decent one that like shopify don't don't you know i still like shopify shopify is still good they're still great everything about them is still sweet i'm probably gonna hold i mean i'm probably gonna hold simply because right now i don't have you know amazon or anything like that shopify is kind of the only one in that category that i have so i'm probably going to hold on to shopify and square c and the rest of them are doing well they've always been doing well for me to be fair you know when you look at c i'm up by 20 percent square i'm up by 16 percent Greg's as well, just for, you know, relating sake. And I'm probably going to sell Sage. Actually, I'm going to actually sell that. So that would probably leave me with about 80 pounds to 100 pounds to invest in. So now the big question is, where do I put this money? I can either put it into Fiverr to actually get that, you know, one share that I'm aiming to get. I could put this into Tesla while it's still low. Could put this into Shopify while it's still low. Some people might even say I should put this into Neo because it's really, really low, but nah, man. I'm just not really feeling Leo anymore, you get what I mean? 
I'm just not really feeling it. And yeah, I need to actually be comfortable with every single stock that I'm invested in. So one company I was gonna speak about is actually Roblox. And Roblox came out recently. And I was considering buying, right? I was considering buying Roblox, but for so many years now, I've known Roblox. I've known Roblox for since I was at least 15, you know, 14, the game and all of that. And I was thinking, you know, Raw, like, it's kind of crazy. This was the game that, you know, I didn't even play this game, but I was aware of it, you know, like six years back. And now it's actually a company that I could invest into. You know, that's that's like a, a person. Do, do you guys get what I mean? It's like a little personal. Anyway, so Roblox was an interesting one that came out. Right now, it's up by 18%, which is all fun and good. But the big question is, do I see Roblox in the next five to 10 years as a booming company absolutely doing insane breaking records breaking everyone's minds and everything like that no i literally just don't that's the thing i don't see it happening it's probably not gonna happen but one thing i do want to do in the future though is actually invest in a company that you know just just comes out so you know an ipo day and everything like that i want to actually invest in one company i don't know how i'm gonna do this because usually when this happens a lot of people lose money you know you have to really really just 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 have a lot of faith in this company for it to boom because really and truly one thing that kind of inspires me is you know seeing other people you know people that are much older saying you know how they invested in apple when it first came out like 30 dollars or you know invested into amazon when they first you know came out and they you know trusted the company and everything like that and you know they bought a share and now the share is worth like three billion dollars or something insane like that the things like that does inspire me does make me feel like you know it is possible a lot of people can do wonders just like that so i actually do want to try that one day you know never know what could happen invest into a company on ipo and boom everything could be sweet after that i could just you know be a millionaire you know dive into the or not dive into the sea but go to the seaside and just live happily ever after or something like that but yeah that is my portfolio i'm currently you know on 1162 pounds going to get this up to about 200 soon and yeah i mean my portfolio isn't doing too too bad at this moment in time i will try to grow it and i will try to cut my losses where i need to invest into you know the right companies put the money into the right ones but what i do want you guys to help me with is just down in the comments below let me know what companies you think are my top five what companies you think i should put or focus on at this moment in time um yeah this portfolio is kind of a bit more flexible um, it's not really my dividends one, my dividends one is a bit more serious, it's the one I really really enjoy, you know, doing. So, you guys can help me on this one, just let me know what you think I should do, and you know, what companies I should take a look at, and just let me know your top 5 companies, or your top 2, down in the comments below that you think I should invest in, and I really appreciate your opinion. So this video is actually brought to you by someone down in the comments who actually requested that I should upload this video once again, so if you guys do actually want more content from me, and more, one, you know, a specific video that you you would like to see them be sure to please let me know down in the comments and i will respond to your comment and i will you know tell you if it's possible if it's not and just let me know what video you want me to bring out you know the next coming weeks or next week even so thank you for watching thank you guys for being here today and that's a wrap once again hopefully you do have a nice week and i'll see you guys next week